I am about six and a half kilometers into uh, about a 10K hike through the Niagara Gorge. And uh, as I was hiking through, it occurred to me that uh, a bunch of you are probably going, uh, what the fuck is going on with Damon? Hey Facebook, what's happening? I'm out in front of the Niagara Falls Armory. Uh, it's the home of 2835-56 Field Artillery Regiment Cadet Corps. I'm sorry for the traffic noise. I'm, I'm outside uh, on Victoria Avenue and uh, it's kind of the end of the day so people are making their way home. Um, for those of you who didn't know or couldn't tell, um, I'm an officer in the Canadian Army. Um, I'm a Cadet Instructor Cadre Officer, something I'm very proud of. And uh, I actually, um, work with and mentor youth. That's my job in the Army. And uh, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm actually going to do a, a completely separate video about that. But what I did want to do was um, take this opportunity in this setting to introduce uh, you know, or to, to provide you with some insight as to how I came up with Op Fit to Fight. Um, because Op Fit to Fight itself was born out of my involvement in the Canadian Army. Um, so about four years ago, I was overweight, um, still overweight. And I made the decision to run in the Army run. I was going to do the Commander's Challenge. I was going to run 5K and then run 21K uh, in the same race, uh, earn a coin. Uh, I was training for it. And uh, along the way, I made a series of videos kind of explaining what I was doing. Because up until that point, I had been posting on social media, but with no context. Um, so rather than me kind of relay it all to you in this uh, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reach into the archives, pull out the old video. I'm going to share that video with you uh, to, uh, just so you can see the birth of Op Fit to Fight. Uh, hope you enjoy it. We'll talk to you later. Well, happy Sunday morning, Facebook friends. Uh, I am about six and a half kilometers into uh, about a 10K hike through the Niagara Gorge. And uh, as I was hiking through, it occurred to me that... Uh, a bunch of you are probably going, uh, what the fuck is going on with Damon? Um, so here's the deal. In uh, September, September 18th, I think, well, exactly two months or nine weeks from today, um, I'm running the Army Run. And uh, I'm going to do what's called the Commander's Challenge. The Commander of the Army's Challenge is uh, in the same day, you start off with the 5K run and then do the 21k half marathon and um yeah why the hell would i do that well uh a bunch of reasons and i'll tell you all about them but uh you know uh, i needed a catalyst to kind of get moving on something and uh the armory own kind of it had some incentive I had to pay to enter it so a little bit of incentive there but uh, really that's kind of minor in the grand scheme of things so uh, why would I put myself through uh, doing uh, essentially 26k in one day uh, when I started a couple months ago I could barely run 500 meters <laughs> and that's being generous without getting winded and almost collapsing so uh, what's going on well or why am I doing this really uh, whole bunch of reasons but I'm gonna give you kind of the top five reasons so reason number five I'm doing this first rule of zombie land cardio um, when the pending a zombie ap apocalypse comes uh, I want to be ready so, reason number four that I'm doing this I'm a whore for challenge coins so uh, I uh, collect challenge coins and um, commander of the army's challenge for the army run. If you complete the 20 or the 5k and the 21k in the same day, get a challenge coin and uh, need to feed the addiction. All right, so into the more serious reasons. Uh, reason number three. Uh, there's a song by Chaos 
Oh man, you used to be, or man, I used to be. Uh, probably one of my favorite songs. And uh, this, the chorus essentially is, uh, I just got to get back to me, back to the man I used to be. Um, many of you may or may not know that uh, I have a crap load of black belts. Couldn't tell, but um, I, for uh, really primarily my health, had to give up a ton of the martial arts I love. Um, Jiu-Jitsu, Aiki Jiu-Jitsu, Kenjutsu, Kudo. I can't do them anymore. Um, you know, my body's failed me. Can't recover from training. You know, I want to be able to spend time doing Kenjutsu and not paying for it with a crippling back pain for the next week. I want to be able to shoot arrows. Um, I want to be able to do jujitsu. I want to be able to swing the sword around. I want to be able to go snowboarding and not be exhausted. Um, I want to get back to where I was. Uh, really, just want to get back to the man I used to be. Okay. So reason number two. Um, for those of you that have seen uh, <laughs> posts on Facebook, uh, me uh, dressed in relish, um, you'll know that I'm uh, in the Canadian Army Reserves. I'm a captain and uh, I'm a member of the CIC, Cadet Instructor Cadre. So uh, I'm not going to get too much into uh, the haters out there talk about CIC and how we're not regular members of the, are real members of the Canadian Armed Forces. Um, but uh, I'll say um, I'm very proud um, of my service in the Canadian Army. Um, I'm proud to be part of uh, the Canadian Armed Forces mission to uh, defend the sovereignty of Canada. And uh, yeah, CIC, we're non-combatants, um, and our missions a little, or the way we achieve our missions a little different. Um, basically, our job is to uh, work with Canadian youth and help them develop into uh, socially conscious and active Canadian citizens and future leaders. Um, it's something that uh, we take seriously. Uh, really love working with youth. And um, we have a bunch. We have mandates in the in the Canadian Cadet Organization, and uh, one of those mandates is to instill a lifelong appreciation for health and physical fitness. And uh, I want to live that. I want to model that. I want to be able to take part in expedition training with the cadets. I want to be able to take part in PT training run the fitness tests, be active with them, model, model physical fitness in my life so that uh, they truly get an appreciation of it in their lives. Um, you know, uh, I think about uh, one who comes to mind that I, you know, one officer that comes to mind the most for me is um, Captain Kerry Shaughnessy, who a few years back became the uh, officer commanding of the sports and fitness instructor course at Blackdown Cadet Training Center. And when she got that appointment, uh, she went crazy uh, working out training because she wanted to model, um, model physical fitness for her cadets. And uh, I think that that in itself was incredibly admirable and uh, it's something that I want to do. So, uh, reason number two is that I want to walk the walk uh, when it comes to um, leading the cadets that we work with. Reason number one. Um, I'm really tired of being fat. That's it. Tired of, tired of it. I'd, uh, 41 years old, 
been the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life, 270 pounds. The most out of shape I've ever been in my entire life. Uh, would have been lucky to have been able to run 100 meters uh, without collapsing. And uh, I'm done with it. I'm just done with it. I think uh, in a lot of ways it was like when um, my wife Kelly uh, decided to quit smoking. You know, prior to that we buggers quit smoking, quit smoking, quit smoking. And, uh, you know, one day she went out outside to have a smoke because there's no smoking in the house. It was winter, she was sick. Came back in, felt worse than she did when she went out and went, yeah, it's time. Time to quit. And she quit. Um, the past few years I've tried losing weight a bunch of times and seaside back and forth. You know, I've tried, uh, Weight Watchers had some success, but I gained the weight back. Plus, isogenics, workout. Um, done a lot of things to try and improve my health, but none of them have really stuck. Um, but uh, this year, I just, uh, just sick of it. Sick of being fat and out of shape. And uh, when Army Run, came along, or I found out about Army Run, it was, um, it was an opportunity to pay some money for it, a little bit of incentive there, um, but it was really just the goal to help me uh, be healthier, and uh, that's it, that's number one reason I want to do it, I want to do it for me, I want to be healthy, um, I got a high blood pressure. I want to have fucking high blood pressure. I don't want to be on medication to control my blood pressure. I'm 41 years old. It's ridiculous. I shouldn't be there. Um, like I said, I've got a crap. To, I've got black belts. I'm phys I was physically active. I want to be able to do that. I want to go golf, snowboard, do martial arts. I want to do expedition training. I want to be physically active. I want to be out there having fun, enjoying life, enjoying the way I feel about myself enjoying the way I look, um, being confident. You know, uh, for the time I never, ever would have taken my shirt off at the beach to go swimming. Like, just so embarrassed with the way I looked and the way I felt about myself. And uh, I don't want that. I mean, right now, not perfect, but uh, I feel a hell of a lot better about myself now. Um, as of this morning, I weighed 250 pounds, so down 20 pounds, and uh, I feel great, and I want that. So, uh, reason number one, I'm doing it for me. All right, so why am I telling you, telling you all this? Here's the thing. I've got exactly two months or nine weeks until the army run. Um, I'm doing a bunch of stuff to get ready for it. Um, my CO, Captain Tom McGregor, is a CanFit pro personal trainer. And uh, I'm training with him at Tom's PT. Uh, and when I train with him, I have a lot of choice words for him because he's having me do ridiculous stuff that I hate and I love it at the same time. Well, mostly I hate it. So, uh, I'm doing that. I'm running. I'm hiking. Doing tons of stuff. I'm, uh, eating right. I've given up pop, chocolate, snacks. And I gotta tell you, it was really freaking tough to give up chocolate. Um, I'll be honest. Still got a vice for beer and cider. I love it. And uh, I enjoy sitting with my friends, enjoying a beer, um, and chatting. So I'm still doing that, but uh, I'm trying to temper that. Uh, not go crazy on it. And uh, bouncing it off with the liters and liters of water I drink on a regular basis. Um, but uh, I'm in two months now final stretch and uh, like I said I'm doing this for me but uh, 
I want some more motivation and I want this to mean more uh, for me and for other people. So um, I'm with the 2835 uh, Artillery Cadet Corps in Niagara Falls and uh, I want to help them out. I want uh, to raise money for the Cadet Corps to buy uh, training and fitness equipment to help um, us meet our mandate and help them live a physically active, uh, physically fit life, uh, help them to uh, achieve their goals, and I want your help. So here's what I need. I'm going to create a page. The page is going to be called uh, Op Fit to Fight Army Run 2016. So uh, if you've seen my post, you notice that I've got those two hashtags. Op Fit to Fight is what I, I call this mission I'm on to improve my life, improve my physical fitness, and uh, Army Run's how I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to create a page. And uh, I'm going to start by saying I don't want any money up front. What I do want is uh, for you to pledge any amount, $5, $10, $20, I don't care. Pledge some money to help me raise money for the Cadet Corps. Just tell me what you're gonna pledge when I complete, when I finish the Army Run. And uh, when I hold up that coin and show you that I've done the Commander's Challenge, um, I want you to live up to your end of the bargain and uh, donate that money. We'll figure out how to do that. You don't have to give the money directly to me. Uh, we'll figure it out. You can donate it to our support committee. Um, we'll figure it out. But uh, help this mean more than uh, it just being about me, um, help it be about helping uh, the kids from my cadet corps. So what am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna be accountable to you. I'm gonna post how I'm doing, what I'm doing with training, uh, post the uh, shit days I've had, and I've had some shit days of training, um, setbacks and my successes. Um, I'm gonna be accountable to you, accountable to myself, to make sure I do this. And uh, I don't promise that I'm going to run the entire uh, 26K. Uh, I do promise I'm going to finish it. And uh, if that means I've got to stop and walk a K so that I can start running again, that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish the Army run, and uh, when I do, um, I'm just asking to help, uh, help me support the Cadet Corps. So, um, just out of that, uh, really what I want is uh, spread the word. You know, I'm gonna send this to all my friends, invite my friends to like the page, but uh, spread the word to your friends, anybody you think might be willing to help. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I spent enough time sitting on my ass recording myself. It's time to get back to work. Uh, thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you later. All right, so there we have it. Um... Just a brief introduction into Opted to Fight and where it came from. Uh, it started out as just kind of the first step and went, it's been a very long journey to get to where I am today. Um, trying to be motivated by um, my involvement with the cadet program and the Canadian Armed Forces and you know raising a little money for the cadet corps. Um, there's a whole bunch of other videos I did along the way that kind of highlight the different steps, um, you know, the runs and the difficulties and of course, on the day, um, you know, we saw a couple of the, the I completed it on the days there, but um, that was it. That's uh, how Op Fit to Fight started, and uh, it's kind of ebbed and flowed. Um, there were times when I was on, really kind of pumping Op Fit to Fight, and times where I was really doing nothing. Um, but uh, since January, it's really been my drive. Uh, Op Fit to Fight's been my mantra, and um, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. Still got some work to do, uh, so trying to lose that last five pounds to hit my first target weight so I could set a new target, but um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with where I am and it's definitely made a difference in my life, um, especially, you know, thinking about Op Fit to Fight as something bigger than just me losing weight, something meaningful to me and the things that are important in my life. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you again.